how much do you think the tooling impacts the community and the communication? And like workplaces is a really amazing tool that basic built for corporate communication internally. Um, you know, a lot of companies are more email heavy. So what kind of impact do you think that has? And do you think there's a right answer fostering that, that company culture? Absolutely. And I think the question you've asked here is super deep and profound, and it has societal impact as well. If you think about it deeply enough, which is the things that get effectively communicated, get done. Hmm. If that makes sense. And whether it's professional, we're talking, whether it's social and political, we're talking the things that get effectively communicated, get done. And conversely, the things that don't don't. Right. And so here's the deal. Compare your experience using workplace, which I did for many years as my exclusive work communication tool. Right. And then when I founded a Seattle nonprofit called OuterRay, we used Slack as our exclusive communication tool. And I used that for three years. The experience of using Slack to communicate is fundamentally different from using workplace to communicate. And you get different types of things done. Let me give you a concrete example. Any Slack room you walk into, any channel you walk into, it's like you walked into a party that had already been chatting, okay? And so you can either scroll back and you can read like where the history is and it's just as noisy as any real party is, or you can just tune into what's going on right now and you hope you don't miss anything new, right? When you go into workplace, workplace scales a lot better for larger organizations because the messages aren't necessarily ephemeral. Some of the things that I have written in Facebook's internal workplace product are still read by people today, years later, and they will write me to thank me for specific articles yes. that I've written. That is a thing that I guarantee you never happens in Slack. There's just no way you join a Slack company channel, you know, seven years after the fact, and you discover some really witty post, you know what I mean? And you go thank the person that just never happens. And so there's this question of ephemeral value versus durable value. There's a question of signal to noise, right? The way that Facebook and workplace gets there is it does have to algorithmically decide which things to lend prominence to and which things not to. Whereas in Slack, every single message has the exact same weight as every other message. No matter who said it, whether it's long or short, whether more people reacted to it or nobody reacted to it, everything gets equal value, right? Yeah. And you get different types of things done in those different types of the communication channels. Mm -hmm. So I feel like when building and scaling a company, a key part of what the leader needs to think through is what sort of architecture for information dissemination should the company use? Knowing that the architecture chosen will impact the types of outcomes and the types of things that get done. Yeah. Hundred percent. I mean, I feel like most company builders are culture creators. It doesn't have to necessarily be the founders, but usually they are. Um, they pick up whatever their friend tells them. Okay, this other startup right. is using that. Let me just blindly copy them. But they don't actually think of the ramifications of that choice in the way, in the much more thoughtful way that you laid out. Um, yeah, totally. And if I could riff on that just one second, yeah. you consider this move to remote work, right? And this also this enthusiasm about internationally distributed teams that are just sprinkled everywhere. Slack is one of the worst things that can happen to you if that is your company communication tool and that is how you've chosen to work because Slack is an environment where decisions are made relatively real time with short little messages. And then you can wake up nine hours later in your own time zone and read all the decisions the rest of your team made in the meantime, right? Like yeah. that is how Slack works. Yeah. Whereas I think some classic like old school, old school ways of communicating like email doesn't necessarily have that dynamic surprise this decision has been made sort of architecture to it. Mm -hmm. And so I do think as we move toward a more remote wor world, we might think about communication tools that essentially have gates to them. The way that logic gates have gates, right? To, to make sure timing's trapped correctly, right? You want to make sure that all the people throughout your your international community have had a chance to gate on this thing before you move it forward. We need yeah. some form of that sort of thing. And that sort of tool hasn't been invented yet. 